Dylan at Salty Underground, and today we're going to be adding some fish to our display tank. So we are going to be adding two diamond gobies to our display tank, and we're gonna go through the process of acclimating them to our tanks with water. So the method that we are using here today is the bucket acclimation method. And the diamond gobies are currently in water that they originated in. And we're going to be slowly adding water from our tank into the bucket that the diamond gobies are in. We chose the bucket because the diamond gobies are jumpers and can be jumpers, so we wanted to make sure that they didn't accidentally jump out of the vessel that they're in. And this whole process takes about 45 minutes to an hour. And every 20 minutes, we will be adding about half a cup to a cup of water into the bucket to help them get acclimated. And you might be wondering why we're adding two diamond gobies to our tank when diamond gobies can be territorial. These two diamond gobies happen to be a mated pair. They kind of accidentally became a mated pair here at the store, and we decided that we were going to keep them as store fish and allow them to live in our display tank and hopefully maybe have some little diamond goby babies. Uh, spoiler alert, they have not had babies yet, and they've been in the tank for a little bit, but uh, our fingers are still crossed. So now we'll be adding them to the tank, and gobies can be kind of timid once they get into the tank. So you may put your goby in your tank and immediately they disappear and hide. Or they could go and explore. The gobies that we added to our tank pretty much just one kind of went away and hid while the other one kind of explored the tank a little bit before we decided to call it a day and let them do their own thing while we waited. And so this goby is just kind of checking things out. It's much different than where he came from. This video was taken today, the day that I'm recording this voiceover, and these are the diamond gobies probably about a month to a month and a half after we added them to the tank. If you can see this rock that's kind of vertical in the middle of the image, that is where they have made their home. We just wanted to give some video of the diamond boobies today, just kind of doing their thing. They're sipped in the sand. They are great at oxygenating the sand. And it's really important that if you do want to have diamond gobies or really most gobies, you need to have some good sand so that the gobies have plenty to be able to look around and play with. And don't be afraid because they will redo the entire sand bed. They've done that multiple times in our tank and they've only been in there about a month. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below what the first fish you added to your tank was. And remember, if you're not already subscribed and you'd like to be, please hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a like if you liked it. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day. Bye.